Welcome back. I'm here with Drew Hopkins, property manager extraordinaire, Tommy <laughs> Jordan, your Palm Springs area realtor. Today, this is going to be an exciting video. We're at a home that we recently helped our client buy and now he manages. We're going to talk about the top three things um, that people do wrong and why a lot of vacation rentals fail out here in the Palm Springs area. So this is the top three reasons. By the way, before we get into that, thank you to our sponsor, the owner of this home. I know you're watching. His listing is down below so you could actually rent this house out now. It's gorgeous, six bedrooms close to the Empire Polo Fields where Coachella Stagecoach, come on, it's a good time. It's an amazing place, as so, you can see, yeah. Drew, what's the number one reason, let's go over there, okay. number one reason why vacation rentals fail in the Palm Springs area, tee us off. Okay, so there are, um, obviously there's more than three reasons yeah. why they can yeah, fail. This, but yeah, this is gonna be an hour long right. video. We're trying to make it quicker So we'll, we'll do guys. We'll do yeah. quick, but yeah. I would say that the top reason, and this goes for any business, is not having enough capital on hand to float yourself if there are some some slow times. So we had a, a client that reached out to Tommy that Tommy put in, in in um, contact with me excuse yes, me yes. so tommy reached out to tommy reached out to me through tommy and you know we're i'm having a conversation with him and he's telling me he's been approved for an eight hundred thousand dollar mortgage but then he's telling me about what he does for a living and the fact that he's just not loaded with cash and i'm thinking i don't want to see you bite off more than you can handle right yes. so i i kind of threw something out at him and he ended up doing it and because tommy is a, a trustworthy and a good guy and because i'm a good guy and a trustworthy person the guy he ended up buying a place basically for half of what he originally yeah. was going to spend yeah but this guy's actually going to make a better return on his investment because he can afford the place if it does god forbid have a couple of slow months which it probably won't because it's a fantastic place but he he won't go under exactly. and and again it's it's that's what you got to do so you got to you got to set yourself up for success and i would say that's what you, you have to be realistic about your uh, your situation as far as income, cash income, you know, and what you have on hand. Yeah, see, that's a really good big, point. Big, big one, yeah. So this gentleman that came to us, you know, he was looking up to 800,000, um, but I was like, you know, Drew, I put him in contact. Like I said, working with us, I like to bring Drew in the very beginning. Right, yeah. Because it's very important to know your return on investment, what the nightly rates are, cap rate, all that nerdy investor stuff. Tommy sends me lots of, you know, hey, what's the, can you give me a, a quick, uh, you know, approximate prospectus on what this place will do? Yes. Hey, Drew, my client likes this place, but does this HOA allow short-term rentals? Hey, Drew, what do you, you know, is this particular neighborhood in Palm Springs over the 20% mark? That's stuff I have quick access to. I can text you back within minutes and say yay or nay. And exactly. that's why it works really well. So after he spoke with this client, he's like, he told me really his financial situation because, you know, working with investors, you know, we might, I might talk to the investor really purely about the house, the purchase price, you know, the, the comps in the area, the neighborhood location, that kind of thing. But it's important because Drew could then, sorry, stumbling. We, this is our second video we're doing. Um, he could hear the financial kind of situation to know, you know, really, we should be doing more of a $400,000 purchase, not this $800,000 purchase. Because me, I want you to be successful. So I don't care if you're buying a million dollar home or a $300,000 home. Our goal is that $300,000 home or a million dollar home is a just huge success. So then we're helping you buy your second, third, fourth, fifth, right. and sixth and yeah. working with your children, grandchildren one day. Exactly. And this and that's what he did. I mean, he he was he was born and raised in the area. Now he lives in, in Orange County, but he he you know, we, he was you know, his place is going to be a cash cow cuz he bought in an HOA that allows in a great country club and everything like that. But I didn't want to I don't want to take him on and lose him in a year because yes. he, he goes under and that doesn't help Tommy at all either. Yeah. So again, you know, yes, honest and trustworthy, but we're all in this together. We're a team and exactly. you know, we got together and and he was wasn't even a condo wasn't even on his radar yes. but now he's probably going to make more money with that than he would on on the other and it was a friend of his who told him to go the other route but yeah you know, anyway go figures yeah, yeah. now we're going to discuss the second reason why a lot of vacation rentals fail in the palm springs area drew reason number two reason number <laughs> two is people if, if especially if they're buying a fixer up or something that needs some work they spend way too much and they don't prioritize what they need to mm. do i would say you need to 
understand that nine times out of 10, you're, you're not going to be living at that property. It's not your primary residence. Yeah. Get the 40 cent per square foot tile, not the $1 40 cent you know, square yes. foot tile. Yes. You, know, you don't have to do the top high end. Make it comfortable, make it nice, but there's a way to do it right and not completely blow your budget, but also you know, hurt your return on your investment. And uh, you know, a lot of people did that and they're, they're hurting now because a couple years ago or a year ago, they bought a place, put a lot of money into it. It's not getting out what it was supposed to for them because the market was saturated and, they, and the rents can't get that. And again, you know, people are, are struggling and they're selling these homes that they put a lot of money into for even less than they bought them for. And I hate to see that happen. I know you do too. Yeah. So, um, so I would say you just have to really prioritize. I always tell people uh, to see, think of it like this, what's urgent, what's necessary and what's desired. If it's desired, nine times out of 10, you don't have to put it in the place, okay? Wow, I like that, that is good. Make and sure. I think Tommy and I can help you decide what's urgent and what's necessary exactly. and what's desired. Exactly. Even people with unlimited budgets, I've had to rein in before and say, hey, you can do that, but why? Exactly, we want you to make a profit you know, so sure, you know, you could go over here in this million dollar home and put a Miele Espresso machine, right, right. Viking appliances, you know, I mean. It's unnecessary. But is it necessary to bring this clientele in? No, it's not. Right. So that's, that's a very good point that it, you're strategic in what you tell people what you should upgrade or not. And then you'd be surprised how little you could actually spend with making something look really nice. Absolutely. Just uh, honestly, like this house, a fresh white coat of paint, right, Transformed Drew? it, totally transformed A fresh transformed coat of white it. paint completely transformed this place and you didn't have to blow the bank. So that's exactly. really exactly. reason number two. So let us, let, let us help you make good choices. Does that make sense? That makes sense okay. to me. Okay, yes. Now we're gonna talk about reason number three, why vacation rentals fail in the Palm Springs area. What would you say, Drew? What's the third thing reason, people need to hear? I think reason number three, which could arguably be the top reason, is unrealistic expectations, mm, yeah. okay? You have to know that the, you're not gonna make money overnight. Um, some people do very well from, from the get-go, but that's based on, on many factors. And I would say that you really have to really get a, a foothold and, and really do things right to start making money. And it, and it takes a little bit of time. You have to see this as at least a year and a half, two year long before you really get out of the red. A lot of people get out of the red before that, okay? But I'm just trying to be conservative in my estimate for people. See, and, yeah. and again, be realistic. I, I always want people to understand that it's not a get rich quick scheme, yeah. buying a place in this area. Yes, you get a lot more bang for your buck with real estate in this area. So, you know, you definitely, the owner who, who did a 1031 with a, a condo uh, in, in a big city somewhere else and then bought a huge six bedroom home, you know, he's, make, he's gonna make more money than he did off of this off of that place eventually, but he knows it's not gonna be overnight. And, and he's willing to put in, you know, again, when we got started, we're not putting the nightly rate up as high as it will one day be able to command because we know that, you know, we have to get the reviews, we have to get the popularity, yeah. we, have to, we have to earn our market share. I like that, you really strategize. You, this, yes. is, this is the key versus an amateur trying to buy a vacation rental and manage it themselves versus a pro. We're playing real life Monopoly here, this folks. Is, this yeah. is real life Monopoly. Yeah. I love that. Because you're saying, hey, let's start it off with a little lower nightly rate so then we could, and I've heard him, well, we've had so many discussions, so I, I'm learning a lot from Drew. We could build up those reviews. Yeah, which and, is important. And once we have a ton of reviews, then you could command the higher nightly rate. Right. But people not knowing, they'll start off, hey, my house looks like Bob's house down the street. Right. Why can't I charge 1800 a night? And exactly. It, it's crazy because then their growth could be maybe, you know, a tenth of what it could have be, right. been if they would have got, it's a game. It is. And you and have it's, to and know the chess pieces in exactly, order to play. Exactly. And it's also frequency. So yeah, yeah we can be several hundred dollars more a night, but if we're actually booking more nights than, than the, the other property, then, you yeah, know, you're, the frequency, you you're actually are making, making the money. And I think that's what's really important. I will 
um, brag a little bit and just say I am a super host on Airbnb and I am a premier partner. You think I'd have a, someone who wasn't a okay. super host or well, premier? I hope not. Say so that again. So it's a, premier it, partner. Well, and then on VRBO, it's a premier partner Platinum Plus. So whenever I do list a new prop, they like their peas at VRBO. Yeah, no, this is yeah. good. So but this is important. Tell them what happens. Well, so when, when you, whenever I do list a new property, obviously it's going to, to show up higher in the search positions when you when you have that ranking with those companies. And then they also will say, hey, this property may be new to our platform, but Drew is a super host on Airbnb or this on VRBO. And all of his other properties are highly rated, very popular, and that's why he has this ranking with us. So, so I will say that it does uh, behoove somebody when they're starting off to, to list with somebody that has, and I'm not the only guy yeah. that has super host status and the other, I mean, there's a lot of them, I'm, I, but yeah. um, it is important because yes, we absolutely do get a higher search position and everything, but yes, the more reviews you get, the more all of that kind of stuff, the better reviews, the five stars for cleanliness, for service, for, um, you know, being, being uh, everything exceeding expectations and, and actually living up to the pictures or looking better in person than in the pictures, yeah. you know, a lot of heavily edited pictures out there um and I, and all of that helps you and then we're in yeah, california everything's edited well the people ex the that's pictures, right exactly so the botox and you the know, houses have botox exactly you know? exactly and you know yeah we have a beautiful sky here but it's not like cerulean blue yeah, okay exactly. i mean like yeah, you yeah, know i've seen i mean and it's and we do have great and you know yeah. yes we have we have stargazing here, but it doesn't look like, you know, we're, we're flying Yosemite. in a spaceship over yeah. NASA, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that's where I'm like, okay, I've never seen that constellation <laughs> before, you know, but it's somehow it's in the picture over Palm Springs, California. Yeah. So that's, funny. I mean, and I, and I, but they're getting, but then it reflects in the reviews. Well, I think so too, because you got people blowing you up saying, where are all the freaking stars? You know? So I'm like, you know, so I, and I actually like when people come and they say, boy, the place is better in, than in person than in the pictures. And, and, that's what you and that's uh, don't get me wrong great pictures are super important yeah. but I, I do love when people say it's better in person yeah and I will say that it's really important for uh, as I said you know to have realistic expectations but in order for those expectations to really pay off for you and that realistic and that patience to pay off you do need somebody who is persistent um, but somebody who understands the market who understands competition but understands there's a thin line but understands taking care of the guests while also taking care of their client, the owner of the property. I absolutely want my clients to make money, obviously, but we have to make sure our guests are happy. And if you can balance that, you're gonna do well and you're gonna do well long-term. And that's what we all want is long-term success yes. for everybody. Yeah, well, this has been amazing. I hope it's helped you. Make sure you like and subscribe for weekly videos like this. Also, I wanna thank the sponsor. You could literally rent this house out now. I mean, it's probably gonna be booked sometime in advance, but it will be open sometime in the year. It's, yeah, and it's a great place. And you could take advantage of this beautiful house. And also, if you're thinking about buying a vacation rental, please contact me or Drew down below. We would love to help you. I mean, we've helped probably five or six people in the last few months buy property from up to two million, you know, down to three, four hundred thousand. So, yeah. you know, we're a really one size. I mean, there isn't. Well, I was gonna say we're a one size fits all approach, but we. Um, well, I mean, you have the experience in every level of real estate, exactly, okay? Exactly. And I have the experience in every level of property management, whether exactly. it's a two bedroom condo to a six bedroom estate. So, you know, you want somebody that understands that. And again, you know, Tommy is equipped with the knowledge. And, and you know, he knows how to find the best place for you. He knows how to, you know, get you the best price and everything. And I know how to help Tommy find the best place that will also help you get the best return on your investment as an income property. Yeah. So together, I, you know, we make a great team and I don't think you can go wrong with us. Is that, is, can I say that? That can sounds I amazing. Toot our own horn. Hey, a little this is bit. my yeah, YouTube so. channel. We're gonna toot away. Okay, so, well, careful how you say that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please uh, reach out to us below and uh, have a great night. Thanks for watching or day.